Today we're going to talk about removing a boom from a shot without scaling or repositioning. Here is the raw footage that we're going to be dealing with. There's a big boom right there. And here is the final. So, okay, let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to jump right into Mocha. Um, so, jump in here, animation, track and Mocha E. I already have a project set up, so I'm just going to use that. And if you haven't used Mocha and want to get more comfortable, with it, I highly recommend Curious Turtles tutorials. They have some really great free ones and they have really great products. I'm just going to come in here and create a new layer and create something like this right about there, something like that. I know that the boom is going to come in, so I need to try to avoid that. And then, so I'm just going to track backwards. And even if the boom goes into the shape a little bit, it's not going to make a difference. It's not going to cause any problems. Okay, we stopped there. I was using a dual monitor, so I got to pull all these back, but. Select the layer, export tracking data, copy to clipboard, bring it back into After Effects. New, null, object. And then it adds to make sure you're setting at 96 because that's where I was sitting here. Um, copy and paste there, and it's not gonna, the data doesn't need to start there. It's gonna start back here. Uh, actually, right there. So. I'm just going to actually start this layer there, so I know exactly when it's going to be moving. What I need to do then is find a still image from your footage that actually contains all the background you need. So I want to still maybe something like this over here. I already did this. I already got the still. I have it hidden. I'm going to bring this right in. Bring this up. Unhide it. I have this in here. I create a little mask around it. Basically, I need to line it up. And I already did this again. Obviously, we have a different uh, different depth of field here. So I need to... I'm just going to use a fast blur for the tutorial. So I need to parent my clean plate layer to the null object. So, yeah, we got it covered up. This might be enough for you, depending on how long the shot is. That might be acceptable to you. And then you, you know, you might have to scale it up or scale it down, scale it up, uh, depending on your footage. This doesn't really work. So what I did, I actually created enough mat to help only target specific areas. I actually, again, have it hidden, but this shape layer, I basically went in and just animated it so that it covers the boom the whole way and just make this a alpha mat and it'll only cover those specific areas. Okay, that about wraps it up. Um, we got a pretty nice boom removal for an interview with a moving camera using Mocha and After Effects. You can check out some of my work at timsfranklin.com, including the trailer for this web series, Common Charges, which I was the editor, visual effects artist, and sound designer for. I plan on making more tutorials, so subscribe to my channel and look out for more in the future.